हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग दिस इज मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर सो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूडमी क्लास एंड एज वी नो दैट वी आर ऑन द पेज ऑफ एजो थ्री जीरो थ्री कॉन्टेंट बेस्ड वीडियो सीरीज सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सिक्स टू सेवन डिफरेंट वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग बेसिक ऑफ क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्लेटफॉर्म एंड सॉफ्टवेयर एज अ सर्विसेज एंड आई थिंक वी आर ऑन द पेज ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटिंग वी एम फॉर विंडोज एंड लिनिक्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मेड्यूल आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड फोर टू फाइव डिफरेंट वीडियोज एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू अबाउट अन अदर कंटेंट ऑफ अवर विंडोज एंड लिनिक्स मशीन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन मेड्यूल and in this video i'm planning to describe you about the concept of virtual machine scale set so vmss is a one of important service uh, and by using this particular service you can create multiple virtual machine by single click so not only to create a multiple virtual machine it also give you option to configure scaling means auto scaling service like you can manage uh, scale in and scale out service with the uh, with the help of vmss so i'm going to describe you about the concept in theoretical part and will show you the step how you can create your own vmss service so firstly we just need to know about uh, why we need to configure a vmss service so firstly you should know about the feature of vmss the first thing, an important thing is that uh, we can create multiple vm if you want to create multiple virtual machine on single click you can proceed with vmss it give you option of auto scaling right if you want to configure auto scaling service with your virtual machine you need to proceed with that third one is it give you the option to configure load balancer as well right and basically you need to proceed with bms service if you want to establish your database server means like as a sql server or you are planning to establish your web server so you should proceed uh, to create your instance with the help of vms so guys this is the basic information related to vms service and now i am going to show you the proper step to configure vms what we need to do we need to just open our azure portal this is our azure portal and we need to click on the compute and as we know that uh, if you want to create if you want to perform any task related to the vm or you are planning planning to create a server with over azure portal we need to proceed with compute option and in the compute option see virtual machine scale set second option is uh, uh, available on azure portal this is a virtual machine scale set you need to click here right now we don't have any virtual machine we don't have any vms service just click add and you need to provide some basic information related to the vms like just basic information related to your vms service basic disk networking scaling management health advanced and tag and review so what i'm going to do a uh, very first step you need to provide the information related to your subscription so i'm using my uh msdn account i'm going to proceed with udemy udemy is a container you can say that resource group type the name of your scale set not on name of your virtual machine just type the name of your scale set so i'm going to proceed with name of training scale okay so this is the name of our container you can say that i'm going to proceed with the location of central us no need to proceed any kind of availability zone because we will configure the scale auto scaling service under the virtual machine and we want to create a, a one server 2012 machine this is the configuration detail um, two core of cpu and four gig of ram so it's really costly so i am going to proceed with the uh, one core of cpu and two gig of ram right type the username and password here i am going to proceed with my common password fine no need to do anything in the basic information in the ba very basic information you need to provide the information about your uh, container name means vmss name operating system configuration detail username and password next second step to provide the hard disk type you can proceed with premium you can proceed with the ssd standard ssd and sdd it's depend upon you so i'm going to proceed with premium ssd click next in the network part it's a really important part in case of networking you need to select your uh, 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 nic card and uh, important thing is that see this is our when you do me we need in uh, our we need you need to click edit option because we need to provide the we need to add the port number a 3389 to access our virtual machine from outside the network 
So in whenever you click on the edit option, it gives you option to public inbound port. So as we know that uh, the work of public inbound port is responsible to allow or deny the traffic from your machine or to your machine. So here I'm going to allow one port. This is really important, 3389. As we know that it's a, uh, we can use the 3389 port for our uh, uh, RDP and to access from outside and public IP must be enabled. So what happened if you proceed to enable public IP address, if you create, if you proceed to create a multiple virtual machine, like you are planning to create a three virtual machine in single container, in single uh, VMSs. So each and every machine will be take, will be get a separate IP address from Azure portal. No need to do anything. This is the basic information and important information because uh, uh, if you are not proceeding this particular task, definitely you are unable to get any public IP address and you are unable to take the RDP of your virtual machine from outside. Next, another important option is related to the scaling. This is the option where you can select how many virtual machine you want to create with the help of VMSS. So now this is the instance number of instance. So I'm going to proceed to create a three virtual machine on single click and maximum you can create a 1000 virtual machine under the VMSS service under the VMSS uh, option which is available on Azure portal. Second one is scaling. So now we have a two different way to proceed and create one is manual and another is custom. So I'm going to proceed and create our scaling service by using the option of custom because in case of custom you can decide which types of service you want to implement right. So here uh, this is the number of instances means minimum number of instances uh, 1 and maximum number of instances 10 means if you want to create if any kind of problem occurred in your environment like your CPU consumption will be a 90% or 95% it will be add one more virtual machine in the container so maximum you can increase up to 10 VM and minimum you can decrease up to one virtual machine now try to understand about the scale out and scale in the meaning of scale out is if your CPU consumption will be cross than 75%, got it? If your CPU consumption, if your CPU uh, optimization will be a 75% plus, then it will be add one virtual machine in the environment, right? And this is the duration, the 75% CPU up to 10 minutes, up to five minutes, means the minimum duration of your CPU consumption more than 75% will be a five minute or 10 minute, you can choose according to your um, uh, requirement you can select with five minute or ten minute next scale in the minimum uh, CPU consumption if your virtual, virtual machine not performing any task so no need to pay amount if your CPU consumption will be at uh, less than 25 percent your virtual machine will, de will decrease from the scale set service so guys this is the important uh, part which is available in our scale set so uh, we configured maximum uh, CPU threshold 75 minimum CPU threshold 25 everything is okay just click next no need to do anything here click next again and next if you want to proceed with the task uh, tags name you can proceed otherwise just click create review and create Now it will be take up to three to four minute time and uh, once our scale set ready to use we will be access our virtual machine with the help of RDP. So I think we need to wait up to two or three minutes. So once our scale set is okay we will be proceed for the next step. Now deployment in progress. Now our VMS service is ready to use. You just need to click on go to the resources and find the virtual machine that you selected while creating the scale set service. So this is the training scale that we created and under the status you are able to find instances. Just need to click on instances. It gives you the information how many instances you created. So see, we are able to see three different instances running in our scale set, but unfortunately we selected the CPU consumption, if your CPU consumption less than 25%, it will be remove the virtual machine from your container. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to access one virtual machine or from uh, our RDP tool. So you just need to open scale set virtual machine one, copy the public IP address and I'm going to use my Microsoft uh, tool, remote tool, select and click 
add just in the public IP address because I'm using the same user ID and password every time. Cool. Now we are able to access our virtual machine that we created under the scale set. But here we are planning to understand about the concept of auto scaling service. So in case of auto scaling service, as we know that uh, there are two different types of scaling service available. One is a scale out and another is a scale in. So you should know about the maximum CPU consumption and minimum CPU consumption. So you just need to click on the CPU optimization. It give you uh, the proper step, the usage of your CPU. So maybe it will be take time like as a it may be one or two minute delay, but definitely you are able to monitor your CPU consumption. And one important thing is that if you if your CPU consumption is less than 25%, we will lose our virtual machine from the container. Now we are able to get uh, entire virtual machines are running successfully right we need to wait up to five minutes because we selected the threshold if your cpu consumption more than 75 percent up to five minutes it will be add one more virtual machine in the container if your cpu optimization less than 25 percent up to five minutes it will be remove one virtual machine from your container like as a from your scale set so i think we need to wait up to five minutes and definitely we will be lost one virtual machine from container because our cpu optimization entire cpu optimization is less than 25 percent okay so we need to wait it and uh, just wait and watch And this is the panel where you can monitor your CPU consumption. It's a combination of entire virtual machine that you created under the scale set. It's not related to individual virtual machine. It just captured the uh, optimization of CPU from entire virtual machine. If you created four virtual machine, five or 10, it will be automatically, logically synchronize the entire CPU consumption. Now your CPU uh, utilization is just 6.3 percent it's really less means your virtual machine not performing a good task not performing any kind of task real time of task that's why the cpu consumption is really less so it means that you it will be automatically delete virtual machine from our list see one virtual machine is deleted only the reason of your cpu consumption is less than 25 percent so guys this is the proper agenda to understand about the Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set Service. I hope you understand. If you have any question, if you have any doubt, please drop a comment. Definitely we'll see and give you the feedback, give you the reply, proper reply. Take care guys and bye-bye.